Hello, we, me wild friends. Wild man, guys, on a mushroom forage. It's now the 8th of September. There should be some lovely mushrooms round here. I have come across this little beauty here. That's a perfect, perfect little field mushroom. Let's see what else we can find, people. This is one of my little well-known spots, this. There should be more around here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I can see them already. The Lord doth provide. Now I'll tell you a little tip about picking mushrooms in a minute. But these are beauties, these are. I can see them from here. Absolutely snided. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Awesome field mushrooms, best you'll ever taste these are. There's an abundance of them here. There we go. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, big edible field mushrooms. Some of them do differ in colour. As you can see, they go darker as they get bigger. Look at that beauty. And there's absolutely loads of them around here. Now, a good way of telling if these are poisonous or not is if you actually scrape the top of the mushroom like there. Yeah. Now, if that starts turning yellow, you know that's a yellow stainer, which are poisonous. And they are quite crafty. They do grow in between these field mushrooms. But I'm, I'm going to get a lovely little brace of them here. There's an abundance. There's some big boys here. Absolutely beautiful. The wild man will be feasting tonight. Always be careful when you're out picking mushrooms, guys. Like I say, give them a scrape. If they turn yellow... They're dangerous, but they are absolutely awesome, beautiful September field mushrooms. And the lovely black juice that will come off them, you fry them up. Oh man, wild man's feasting tonight. So yeah, just a little tip for picking mushrooms, guys. They are out now. If you get out in the wilderness, out in the fields, they're absolutely everywhere here. Look at this little beauty. The Lord does provide. What well, there's absolutely masses of this russet tough shank. They're everywhere. I'll give a big shout out to all my new subs. I do do mushroom videos now and then, foraging as well as exploring. Like I say, that's not a chanterelle. That's actually the russet tough shank. Please don't get them mixed up, guys. This is the wild man, guys, out on manoeuvres for the wild army. And that's an actual, actually an awesome little group of mushrooms, but not edible, I'm afraid. Just growing in abundance round here. Absolutely everywhere, as you can see. Be growing all under this leaf litter. So yeah, be careful what you're picking, guys. That's the rusty tough shank, not the chanterelle. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Wild man guys out on a mushroom forage. <laughs> Good luck. Oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> We're on it. See you in a bit, guys. This is the wild man. Take it easy. Wild man out. Oi, oi. I've just come across some field mushrooms, but I've also come across these little guys. Blink and you'd miss them. Check these out. These are young fairy ink caps. Just starting out on the little adventure. They're not edible. They're not substantial. But man, are they awesome to look at. Just any cameras taking all that in for you, all the little detail. They will actually fan out and get the little lines down them. But 
look at this little world of mushrooms. Like I say, they're not edible. And they're not poisonous, but they're pretty insubstantial. You wouldn't get no nutrition from them whatsoever. But I just thought it'd be an awesome little video to share with you. I like uh, zooming in on cool stuff like this. It's like another little world down here, guys. You can hear the birds are in the background. They are happy. They know it's mushroom season. This is the time to get out foraging now, people. Get out learning. Get yourself a little mushroom book. What an awesome little world. Worlds within worlds, eh, guys? So these are actually the little fairy ink caps just starting out on the little journey. I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm on a mission for all sorts of mushrooms today. And we never know what we're going to find. Sometimes you find different ones. There's that many different species. I'm in the middle of some old dried up pond. This is where mushrooms like to grow, usually on dead rotting wood. Oak trees, birch trees. If you know your trees, guys, you're all right. Another little mushroom nonetheless. I'm just out on a forage. This is where I am today. Middle of the undergrowth, getting soaking wet. We've had a lot of rain, so I thought, hey, brilliant, I'll get out. We'll do a mushroom hunt. Finding a couple. Just thought I'd bring you along on this little journey with me. So that's an awesome, another little group of mushrooms, the common stump brittle stem. Awesome to look at. Not really one for the foraging bag, but hey ho. Just learning as we're going along. We are the wild army. Just trying to navigate our way around the woods. I do do a lot of mushroom hunting. I do a lot of uh, foraging, urban exploring, nature exploring. Looking for the old world. But you will get the odd mushroom videos popping up now and then, guys. Plus the odd uh, wild food foraging and other ways of surviving in nature. Just in case the worst happens. So, yeah, another little mushroom for us there. The common stump brittle stem. Brooms. This is not an edible. Quite bad for you, actually. It'll give you gastric upset. It is poisonous. Not one of the best ones. You can eat the puffballs, but this isn't a puffball. This is actually the common earth ball. I've just cut one in half for you so you could see what's inside. They actually grow from like roots, as you can see. Like a goldish colour. There's loads of different species of earth ball. This is not one you want though. So be careful when you're out and about in the woods. Always be 100% what you're picking. But I've cut one of these in half for you guys. Just to show you the colour inside. It's like a black, purple effect. I don't know if the camera's picking the colours up to that. I've got creatures chewing on me all the time. But that's what it takes for the wild army. We're learning. Quite a cool looking mushroom really. But not an edible. But that's the common earth ball. Not one for the foraging bag. But this is why we're here. Learn each other. I will be doing some wild food foraging at some point. It's not all about exploring an old world history. We're out to learn, survive and look after each other. So if you come across this one in the wilderness, guys. Keep away from it. It's not an edible. It's a lovely looking little mushroom. It's a shame there's not more of him. As you can see underneath, it's quite porous. They're not very edible due to the soggy texture, but this is a perfect little uh, example of one this is. What a beauty. 
I love finding these little gems. It is edible, but they're not recommended. Like I say, they are quite soggy. By the time you got it home, it'll probably turn to mush. But if you were out in the wilderness, it'll probably do you proud if you found a few of them. I just thought that was an awesome little find for you. There's quite a few of the Bolette family. Sometimes if you cut them, they do turn different colours. Um, I don't think this one does, but if I make an indent in it, let's see what colour it turns. There's quite a few of them, when you put an indent in them, they turn blue. Or red, depending on which sort of Bolette it is, but that is a large Bolette because it's not changing colour. Got quite a pink rim round the bottom of it. It's a different little mushroom for us. Looks like a little cake, doesn't it? But yeah, the large bowl that. We're out and about mushroom foraging, learning with the Wild Army. Just thought I'd show you that little mushroom. We are in September. These grow summer to late autumn. I mean, there's one that looks similar. There's a bay bowl at, but this is a larch bowl at. Like I say, edible, but not very substantial due to the soggy. By the time you get it home, it's to be mush. But if you were in the wilderness with the wild army, it's another mushroom to learn. Nature will provide for you. It will look after you. It's just an awesome little specimen. Wild army, does the wild man here on a mushroom forage. Sort of take you along with me to Sunday. Found quite a few today. Just learning the guys along the way. Still learning myself, but I know some of these. This is actually what we call the golden brittle gill. As you can see, it's quite a golden colour. Quite a fat stem on him. There's a couple more over here. That's the remnant of one. Summit's obviously had a chew on that. Sorry about the cards, guys. This is what they look like when they get a bit older. They do fan out. As you can see underneath, the gills are very brittle. You've only got to touch them and they snap. Quite a large stem on it. As you can see, Quite a decent size mushroom. These are actually edible. But not many uh, foragers take them home because they're not very substantial. They are one for the foraging bag, but I wouldn't recommend them, guys. But if you were out in the wilderness, they'd probably do you a massive, massive favour. But please don't pick anything you're unsure of. But this is actually growing under a birch tree. As you can see, this is where they do grow. They grow under broadleaf trees. I'll take the top off them. They're actually quite slimy on top. Lovely thick stem. Sorry guys, I've got insects attacking me. The beautiful colours on that. What an awesome little mushroom. And he has a little beauty. It's just a shame his little hats fall off, but hey oh, give him a tap. It's a bit larger. These are actually called the white saddle. And these are poisonous. They cause gastric upset. You can tell the, the uh, white saddle by the stem. If you look at the stem, can you see how it's... Um, Hold on, they're only little these are. Can you see how the stem is like? It's got loads of little strands that build up the actual stem to the mushroom itself. They look like little ears at the end of them. There's a mushroom out there called hair's ear. Well, hair's ear. But please don't get them mixed up, guys. This is a dangerous one. The white saddle mushroom. If you actually go to me Mushroom Foraging and RD playlist, I've actually done a video on this, the bigger version. 
but this is one of the younger type where they're just coming out. They're just getting started. It's September. Please be careful, guys. Don't pick anything you're unsure of. This white saddle mushroom will make you ill. I was hoping to find a few of the more toxic mushrooms for you today so that you know what you're picking. I found a few edible ones, but I'll just start to show you this one. Just remember what it looks like, guys. It's got loads of little stems going up to the actual top of the shroom. The white saddle. Not one for the foraging bag. Stay away from it, guys. Just look at it. Yeah, they're nice to look at, but please don't ingest them. I'm okay touching them, as long as I don't ingest them. Obviously, I wash my hands when I get home. Oh, but this is actually the green brittle gill. As you can see, it's got a green tinge to it. Quite slimy on top. Got a young specimen here. I mean, they're an awesome looking mushroom. They do look edible, but they're not. They're actually poisonous. So they're one of the more poisonous of the brittle girl, brittle girl family. So I just thought I'd show you that. They're called a brittle girl because the girls snap. The stem is quite thick on these. I mean, the bugs have had a chew on it. They are obviously all right with it. This is the green brittle gill. I'm in the undergrowth on a mushroom hunt. Just learning the wild army, what to pick, what not to pick. These are a bad one. Not very nice at all. Got a close up on it there. They do look similar to a charcoal burner, but they're not. I'll just be very careful when you're out and about. These are a nasty one. They can cause really bad digestive upset. They're not fatal, but they will make you have a really wild, bad stomach. So I just hope I'm helping you guys learn. Learn the land, learn nature. Learn mushrooms, learn foraging. As well as a bit of exploring and other bits and bobs. Hope I'm not boring you guys. This is a Sunday mushroom hunt. I'm out and about doing it for the wild army. Take care of each other's guys.